Salat time comes, I've seen this first time. They are found in the hotel lounge. They will be sitting on this hotel lounge. The Adhan is going, and by the way, the Mu'adhin and Masjid al Nabawi, one of them, I met, he's, from, he's a Sunni Muslim. <coughs> but they'll be sitting down in the lounge, and everyone is going where? To the Salah. Is this wisdom? The answer is no. They observe me at the time of Adhan, I am going to the Masjid with the people. I am even standing behind the Imam and praying. So straight away, he's a Sulakulli. Those who are obligated know what is happening. Yes. Why? Because an alama Sa'id Ahmed Qazmi rahimullah ta'ala wrote a fatwa. He was asked regarding this issue. And he said, the people who go to the Haram Athlete categories, number one of the scholars, the ulama, they must follow what they know. If they know the Imam has a deviant belief, their prayer is not done if the belief is kufr. If the belief is not kufr, then they must repeat their prayer. The second category is those tulab who aim students of knowledge and the people of knowledge who associate with those people of knowledge. And the public who associate with them. The third category of people are the majority of the Muslims who do not even understand these issues. Their prayers are done. One eternity later. In a speech in Preston, you mentioned that you stand and pray behind deviant imams, thereby con uh, causing confusion amongst lay persons and problems for the local Sunni ulama. When Mufti Zahid Hussain Rizvi sought a retraction from you for this erroneous statement, for your own benefit and for that of the public, instead of retracting, you went on to publicly rebut his stance on differed upon fiqhi issues why have you not publicly repented for this erroneous statement on praying behind deviants and cleared the confusion for Sunnis in Preston? Three days later. The question is, are we allowed to pray behind other firaq sects? Are we allowed to pray behind the Ubandis? But the answer it? is, if you were allowed to pray behind them, why have we made our own masajid? <laughs> we should all have one masjid. Wow. Yes. If we were permitted to pray behind Wahhabis, then we should have one masjid with them. <coughs> but the, why have we made our own masajid, Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah masajid? Mm. The reason why we have made Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah masajid is so our prayer is correct. Yeah. Now the problem is that some of them even wipe upon their socks before in wudu. Yeah. According to us, the salah is not done. So therefore, we have our own Ahl Sunnah wa Jamaat Masajid in which we pray. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, obviously, you know, you have two, two different things. But if we are, we don't do the properly, like you said, I mean, you know, we wash our feet and everything, but we stand behind them, are they are reading the same Quran and everything. So, we are standing there. So, your knowledge of the sect, your knowledge of the sect, how much would you say you know about them, you personally? You don't know much. So your ruling would differ from mine. Because I know so much, my ruling is different. But your knowledge, it, this I gave this answer on live television, someone made a, an imbecile, made some issue about this. So I will clarify this in detail. That is, that for instance, Haji Saab, I come across a lot of lay people like yourself. And they say to me, all we know is that we are Bareilly and they are the Ubandi. And we don't know anything more than this. Isn't that the case? If that's your state of knowledge, first it's incumbent on you to learn more knowledge. Yes? So the answer I'm going to give you will be different to the answer I give Hafiz Sabiya. Because he has more knowledge regarding this issue. Do you understand that? Yes. Subtlety. So there was one imbecile, he attempted to say, I permit people to pray behind all the groups. I do not say this. I live in the real world. So I deal with various types of people. So I said, you are asked according to your level of 
knowledge. Yeah, much, much, much later. Uh, some brothers wanted a clarification on some of the clips going around, one on the Uma channel, one recently that I mentioned in uh, Manchester. They think for some reason that I believe Salah behind Gayabina is permissible. It's totally impermissible. There's no permissibility. Our public should not be praying behind Aimmatul Masajid. Our creed is that we only pray behind Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. What I was attempting to convey to people is that individual cases of people, the Sa'il, the questioner, I deal with according to the level of the knowledge of the questioner. This is what I'm attempting to convey. But I make it clear, Qat'al, that anyone who associates with me does not pray in uh, other than Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Masajid, or behind Ayyumatul Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, 